Alright, this video is all about using AI for niche B2B market research. If you are a marketer struggling with the intricacies of niche B2B marketing research, then you're likely familiar with all the hurdles of reaching these elusive decision makers. This includes the frustration of data that is out of date, the financial pressures of costly primary research such as studies and focus groups, and the confusing nature of these complex sales cycles. I've run a B2B marketing agency for 10 years and I've spent many hours googling myself into the most obscure rabbit holes that you can imagine. Recently one of my AI coaching clients and I decided to solve this problem once and for all. So today I'm excited to share four different combinations of prompt sequences and tools that can get at some of the absolute hardest to reach audiences. The first sequence focuses on trade publications, online platforms, and other communities where you can find these niche B2B audiences. The second sequence starts with conferences and trade shows. The third sequence uses relevant blog posts as a starting point. And the final sequence utilizes the power of empathy mapping for creating some powerful messaging. This seems to be the one that my AI coaching clients are most excited about. We're going to be using the niche of museum climate control consultants who are interested in industrial HVAC systems as our example. And it doesn't get much more niche than that. All right, before we get started, I want to mention that I have all of these prompts in a cheat sheet available to my Patreon subscribers, so check that out. This really supports the channel, and it helps me in my mission to making sure that entrepreneurs and small businesses get access to these powerful large language models as quickly and easily as possible. Let's jump in with the first sequence here. I'm using Perplexity AI. If you're unfamiliar with that, you definitely want to check it out. It is, I believe, the best way to do online research using AI. It's free and it allows for five searches per day and then there's a paid program if you want to do more than that. The first prompt that I'm going to use is please create a comprehensive list of trade publications, online platforms, forums, communities, social media sites, and other digital spaces that cater to our very niche B2B audience, the Museum Climate Control Consultants here. And you can watch it do its work as it deploys various agents and searches all sorts of resources on the web but considered 25 different resources here and pulled together a pretty impressive list of trade publications, online platforms, forums, communities, etc. Right there, you saved yourself a couple hours of Google searching. But then I want to follow up with, please search these sites for resources that specifically cater to museum climate control consultants because oftentimes the resources it pulls in cater to a lot of different audiences. You want to keep refining it so you're focusing it on these museum climate control consultants. It goes forward and digs deeper into those sites and pulls together a bunch of things that are relevant to that audience. There's some really cool resources right here with just two prompt searches in Perplexity AI has pulled us into some really interesting resources. This one by Getty Conservation Institute and a bunch of others here. I actually dove into these a little bit myself. They were so interesting, which is surprising given how uh, niche of a B2B audience this is. So from there, I ask it, please summarize all of this into a comprehensive list of trending topics that museum climate control consultants care most about. So it's first started by looking for these communities, then it's diving into those communities for relevant resources and then finally it's pulling together a comprehensive list of trending topics for these folks and these are pretty impressive pretty exciting I think these would resonate with that audience so from there I grabbed this I used perplexity AI as my research assistant and then I pulled all of this I copied it just by this little clipboard here and pulled it into Claude because Claude Anthropics Claude does a great job of summarizing large context windows. So very long documents or long pieces of research, Claude can handle all that a little bit better than uh, ChatGPT, which has a smaller context window. So I pulled that in and I said, hey, here's a comprehensive list of trending topics. Based on this list, please generate some content ideas for a company that specializes in industrial HVAC systems. So this did a great job pulling in those trends trending topics and you can see what's beautiful about perplexity this was all copied and pasted from perplexity it gives you all the links to everything there 
Anthropic then was able to pull together some ideas here, a white paper on sustainable climate management strategies, ebook preparing museums for the effects of climate change, etc. From there I said, now please create four main pillars or hubs of content that can form the foundation of a content marketing campaign targeting this very niche B2B audience. And for each hub, please create an ebook idea along with four supporting blog article ideas. And it sketched out this pretty nice content marketing strategy for this very niche B2B audience. So this is just one approach. Now I want to move on to another approach where we start with conferences because I have found that conferences can be a really great place to start researching these niche B2B audiences. So what are the top conferences that museum client control control consultants might be interested in? It goes forth and it does its searches again. Love Perplexity for that. I've tried all the different plugins that tie AI into the internet. Perplexity seems to work the best for me. It pulled together a bunch of the potential conferences that these folks might be interested in. What are the trending topics from these events that museum climate control consultants seem most interested in? So it's looking at the different trade shows and then it's focusing in on specifically what this audience might be interested in at those trade shows. Pulled together some really awesome resources here. Energy efficiency, impact of climate change, sustainable climate change strategies, all of these different things, role of museums in climate change, future relevance of museums. Some pretty interesting topics here. So from there I asked it, what are the trending topics of these events that climate control consultants seem most interested in? And it pulled together a bunch of very interesting topics from these different trade shows that these climate control consultants might be interested in. There's a couple that caught my eye here, role of museums in climate change, future relevance of museums, etc. You can take this list of trending topics and float it back into Claude, doing the same exact prompt sequence that we just went through. So copying that back in from perplexity and building out the content strategy like I did previously. But all of this led me to a few different articles that I was really interested in. I thought really were resonating with uh, this particular audience. I vetted those by using different SEO tools and I found a couple articles that were getting some good backlinks and some good shares. This one in particular was about environmental monitor monitoring for loans. So when museums are loaning one piece of artwork to another museum, they wanna make sure that other museum is gonna take good care of it and has a good climate control system. And so all of this I learned in less than an hour. This would have taken me previously, I would say many days, but finding this particular article, I thought really resonated. It was from a competitor. Uh, somebody who's selling these industrial HVAC systems to museums and to these different consultants. And I used ChatGPT for this and I enabled the VoxScript plugin. I'm a big fan of the VoxScript plugin whenever you are asking ChatGPT to look at a specific web page or to look at a specific video. It can analyze those and pull that data in pretty efficiently. So from here, I just said, please generate a few content ideas that correlate what's in this article with the concerns that museum climate control consultants currently face related to these industrial HVAC systems. Here's the article, dropped the link in there. It looked at the article, gave a little summary of that article, and it generated some awesome content ideas for these makers of these industrial HVAC systems who are trying to reach these climate control consultants for museums museums. So that is the third approach. Now the final fourth approach here, which I think is probably the best one, taking a very simple and direct approach and dumping that into chat GPT can work really well. So this prompt, if you're going to write one down, this would be the one to write down. Please create an extensive list of all the different problems that whatever your niche B2B audience is, is currently faced with regarding whatever your trying to sell or whatever your clients are trying to sell. So in this case, it is, again, those museum climate control consultants who are facing problems related to industrial HVAC systems. And it creates an incredibly robust list 
of all of the problems that museums and their various constituents face with climate control, preserving these artifacts and also doing it in a way that is environmentally conscious because getting that environment perfect in the museum can expend a lot of energy, which is costly, bad for the environment. This was an extensive list here. You can see ChatGPT had some problems with the numbering. I don't even know how many it came up with. I would guess about 20 different problem areas. And this prompt really does wonders once you've created that list of problems. Please analyze this list and categorize these items according to the four quadrants of an empathy map. Say, think, feel, do. Please return an empathy map that can be used for future marketing efforts. So this is really helpful getting some powerful messaging together with those two prompts. This is something that really would take many days of work previously. So you're getting into the heads of these niche B2B audiences and you're doing it in a much faster, much more efficient way than doing surveys. I've done surveyed many thousands and thousands of people. I've worked on focus groups, etc. And I got to say that those two prompts destroys all of that at a tiny fraction of the time and cost. So here are some of the things that this audience might say. Here are some of the things that they might be thinking but afraid to say. Here are some of the things they might be feeling. And here are some of the actions or behaviors they might take. Then ChatGPT4 maps this out into a beautiful empathy map that can really serve as a cornerstone for your content marketing or any sort of marketing campaign that you are doing. Okay, and that was the sequence that when I'm working with my AI consulting clients uh, who run various agencies, they get really excited about all of these, but this one in particular. So a couple other ideas here. If you are doing some focus groups or you're doing some surveys, make sure to think about using the AI to analyze those results and come up with the different questions. So if you're going into the field with a study, AI can be a great way to make sure that you're generating some really good Good questions, or that those questions are overlapping in good ways, not in bad ways. Um, using tools like Octoparse to pull book reviews or other online forum content. I speak about this in my other marketing research video that you might want to check out. Octoparse is a scraping tool. And I found it especially useful if there is a book or two that is really resonates with your B2B niche. Using that Octoparse tool to scrape the Amazon reviews for that book, you get that audience exactly what they're saying uh, in relation to whatever the problems or issues that are covered in that book. I like to filter out the one-star reviews and the five-star reviews and just look at the two, three, and four-star reviews because those are probably the more honest reviews that will give you some interesting insights there. Scrape all that with Octoparse and then pull all of that into Claude and ask for summaries or ask it to create that empathy map from all of those remarks can be another great way to get inside the heads of these B2B niche audiences. All right, I hope you got something out of that. Remember, I've got a cheat sheet with all of these different prompt sequences here in my Patreon. I also have some coaching options there if you're looking to get your team educated on AI. I've been doing a lot of that and I'd love to help you with that. Thank you a ton for watching. Please feel free to subscribe, to like the video, to drop me a comment if you have any questions about any of this. I'd love to consider those for future videos. And thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Just do it. Make your dreams come true. Just do it.